previously on 24-7. As middleweight champion Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. prepared for the biggest fight of his career in Los Angeles, he embraced the legacy of his iconic father. Aparte, mi padre es mi ídolo, lo admiro demasiado. Creo que es parte fundamental por cual yo lucho para llevar este nombre pues más alto. Meanwhile, 60 miles away in the city of Oxnard, 37-year-old Sergio Martinez, who long ago fought his way out of poverty in Argentina, now braced for his younger opponent. Junior nunca se enfrentó a ningún ranqueado libra por libra entre los primeros 100. Hoy en día todavía no no tiene que ser campeón. And back in Hollywood, Chavez Jr.'s trainer Freddie Roach conceded his latest star pupil may not always be a model student. The thing is, he works when he wants to, and uh, it bugs me a little bit. But, uh, you know, overall, it, it's okay, as long as we get the work done. In the Old West, Las Vegas was a waypoint for pioneers with gold on their minds. Today, it's where millions come to seek fortunes of all different kinds. And it's where Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. has relocated from Los Angeles to continue training for his September 15th bout with Sergio Martinez. This evening finds him on suburban streets well past midnight, doing his work as ever on his own time. Por la madrugada vamos a correr a la una o dos de la mañana, todo el tiempo. Estoy acostumbrado al calor, toda mi vida he entrenado en Culiacán, donde yo vivo. Es un clima muy similar. Me siento muy a gusto aquí en Las Vegas. ¡Fantástico! ¡Fantástico! Martinez is his lip right now. Chavez and his team are staying in a single rented house on the outskirts of town. And while Julio Jr. sleeps the days away in his bedroom, his legendary father puts in his own miles in stationary fashion. Todos los días, todos los días eh, sigo corriendo por espacios de una hora. Corro seis, siete millas todos los días. The 26-year-old fighter rises in the early evening and then makes full use of the property to awaken his senses. Eh, me siento muy motivado por esta pelea y siento que para el día 15 de septiembre voy a llegar en la mejor preparación de toda mi vida. Tonight the schedule calls for sparring. As usual, Chavez Jr. heads to the top-ranked gym a bit later than planned. And as usual, his trainer waits. Well, the thing is, uh, the L.A. camp wasn't working that well. He was working at home a lot and not coming to the gym. And uh, he wanted to come to Vegas. I told him I'd do it if he was disciplined and, and showed up every day. And uh, um, we had a little trouble getting that going at first. But everything's coming into play and we'll be ready for this fight. The workout on this night takes place in front of a special family audience. Not only his father, but Junior's younger brothers, Christian and Omar, as well as their mother, Alba. So this is the first time like we're all together, friends, because my mom never comes. I think for him it's, it's a good thing because he feels the support, you know? Una vez nada más lo he ido a ver pelear en vivo. 
no me gusta, por eso nunca, nunca voy a ver, nunca los voy a ver pelear en vivo porque a mí me da miedo. Julio Sr. and Alba divorced over 15 years ago, but with the biggest fight of their son's career approaching, a boxing family is reunited. Yo creo que muy bien, yo creo que ha sido excelente. Pues me gustan que, que vean mi trabajo, que vean lo que me esfuerzo porque yo lo hago para ellos. Eh, me preparo duro porque quiero que se sientan orgullosos de mí. Middle brother Omar is a boxer as well, with a record of 28-2-1 as a professional. So combined with Julio Jr. and Sr., the Chavez family has 194 fights in total. Only eight of them defeats. Martínez, le tocaría pelear con mi papá, ya está viejo, está viejo ya. Aging is a concern for any fighter, and in a quiet room in Oxnard, California, a large device sits as at least a possible counteracting solution. Measuring seven feet in length and 23 inches in diameter, the hyperbaric chamber is an instrument constructed primarily for recovery from a variety of injuries or ailments. But there are others, too, who claim there are benefits to breathing the pure oxygen contained within. Sergio Martinez comes to this chamber five times a week. It's owned by his chiropractor and cut man, Roger Anderson, among the most fervent believers in its curative effects. We need oxygen to survive. Nothing survives without oxygen. The more oxygen in the body, the better it does. The main advantage is more oxygen in the blood so that he can maintain better in the later rounds. The opponents will be strong for the first eight rounds and then, and then, and then get a little weaker, a little weaker. And Sergio, the last fight, I think it was 11 round that he had a knockout in the 11th round. He just gets better in the later rounds. Each session lasts an hour. Hola. It's a daily routine but Juan Martinez nonetheless downplays as an ingredient to his success. Que si esta máquina es el secreto, no, no. El secreto de, de mis éxitos está en el trabajo que hago desde, desde que comencé a boxear. Me levanto a las 4 de la mañana, ese es el secreto, todos los días. El secreto creo que es ese. No hay mucho secreto, me levanto a las 4 a entrenar mucho. His schedule takes him next to Knucklehead's boxing gym in Ventura. On this day, a relatively rare item on the agenda, a 10-round sparring session. It's a philosophy that we've been doing for many years with Sergio, to not do so much sparring, it doesn't need to be done. Total, hacemos unos 60 rounds, nada más. En comparación con otros boxeadores, creo que es, es muy poquito lo que hacemos. Con mi entrenador, digamos, Pablo, nos dimos cuenta que esa es la mejor manera para llegar, eh, para no llegar muy cansado de ideas. Yo quiero que, que él también llegue con un poco de, de, de hambre, de boxeo, hambre de, de quedarse allá dentro de, del RINA a, a pegarse. With the scarcity of sparring, the Martinez camp is filled with a collection of more eclectic forms of training. Hacemos muchos trabajos para para no hacer tantos pares. Ponemos una red como una telaraña, simulacros de combate. Lo más, eh, lo más parecido a un combate, con la diferencia que no estoy recibiendo golpes, y es. The 37-year-old has trained like this for a decade. He will continue to do so until further notice. La gente que piensa que yo hago pocos rounds, pocos paren por mi edad, creo que se equivoca. Llevo 10 años trabajando de esa manera, y, y llevo 10 años progresando. Quizá tenga razón Chávez, quizás porque soy un presumido se prepare para perder el cinturón mundial arriba del ring porque es lo que le va a pasar.
It's another night at the top-ranked gym in Las Vegas, and another night of waiting for Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. to materialize. The fighter is late for the 7 p.m. mitts workout scheduled with Freddie Roach, exactly the kind of workout Roach felt was missing from their Los Angeles training camp. He told me the reason why he, he wasn't coming to the gym. I mean, he was working on his condition, his legs first, and he, he wanted to get his legs under me so he could do what I asked him to do uh, in training. A little unusual, but uh, he's a little unusual. I call him, but he don't answer. No, he just called me, but I missed it. Oh, okay. We need to really concentrate on, on the game plan. That's kind of my job of, to work out the game plan for this fight. But after an hour of waiting, a call comes from a Chavez associate. Apparently, the change in scenery hasn't changed everything. And so you, you don't want to train? What the fuck? Jesus Christ. No. I've never seen a like this in my life. Maybe I won't show up tomorrow and see how that works. <laughs> All right, no problem. All right, bye. Right, right. He get up and said, I'm going to the gym and do three minutes with Freddie, and then a half hour later, he says, no, fuck it, I'm not going. I need a day off. They began working together in 2010, when the fighter became intrigued at the prospect of a new mentor. Pues lo conocí en un entrenamiento de Pacquiao. Platiqué con él, vi a Pacquiao entrenar. Quise ver qué qué me qué me podía enseñar y. His reputation was not good. It had been uh, that he was a little bit lazy and uh, he doesn't uh, uh, train train that hard and so forth. Under Roach's tutelage. Chavez Jr. showed improvements in both training and in-ring performances. Capturing a middleweight title belt previously vacated by Sergio Martinez. Eh, fue una gran decisión, cambió mi vida como boxeador y Freddy Roach ha sido un parte fundamental de el progreso que he tenido. He's never said no to me in a training camp since we started and uh, he hasn't said no to me in this one though, but he just hasn't showed up every day. In fact, the next day, Chavez Jr. does show up at the gym, saying he's rested and ready to get back to work and listen to his trainer. He drive him back in a straight line. He can't fight going backwards. Boom, 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 boom. Fuck. All right. Estuve entrenando durante 12 días seguidos y yo no tengo días de descanso. Entonces me sentía que ayer quise tomar de descanso. Escuché mi cuerpo, sentía cansado y no sentí que era lo mejor para mí. Through it all, the trainer's message remains clear. As the fight closes in, the time for rest is diminishing. I told him the other day, I said, don't fall back into your old, your, your old habits, because remember that it didn't work back then, and the hard work paid off. And uh, so he stepped it up for me, and uh, I, I think we're okay now. Back in Oxnard, preparations for a barbecue are underway at the home of Sergio Martinez. Inside the kitchen and out in the backyard, where Pablo Sarmiento gets a bit too aggressive at the grill. Sergio, vení acá. Que chapea, güey, se me está quemando. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué hiciste? No, joda. Sí, no te hablo, güey. Sí, no me hago. ¿Pero qué te echaste? ¿Un litro de nafta? ¿Gasolina? ¿Qué? No, no, yo. Como persona, Pablo, está muy loco, ¿no? Pero congeniamos muy bien. Trabajamos bien y, y eso hace el resto, ¿no? Pues la verdad que ya tenemos una amistad muy grande de, de muchos años y creo que, que encontré justo la persona que, que me hacía falta para el complemento justo. Nos lleva muy bien en la casa, es, es muy buena porque los dos eh, sabemos lo, lo que queremos, eh, estamos los dos eh, en, en, en el mismo camino que, que queremos ¿no? y, y eso hace que, que, que nos lleva muy bien. 
They are fighter and trainer, but also when they work together for a bout, housemates as well. The result is a pair that works hard and laughs hard. What's that? Lego. <laughs> <laughs> the day they don't laugh is the day when you know something's wrong. <laughs> they laugh a lot. I don't know if you noticed it. My laugh, say jokes. They first bonded ten and a half years ago as fellow Argentinians in a gym in Spain, thousands of miles from home. Now, their friendship continues to flourish on mutual understanding. Yo no invado su espacio. Él no me invade el espacio mío. Nos juntamos para trabajar y después cada uno en su mundo. Y mucho no me entero lo que lo que pasa fuera de casa. Se puede decir que prácticamente no tengo vida social. Siempre que estoy aquí es para concentrar. Following dinner, Martinez and Sarmiento retire to the living room to get back to work and watch tape of the opponent awaiting them on September 15th. La va a sufrir conmigo, Pablo. Hay otro ritmo. Hay otro ritmo, otra intensidad de trabajo. Él, él se piensa que todas las peleas las va a ganar con el peso. Me gusta ver bastante a mis rivales, me gusta estudiarlos muchos. Más lo que hace, lo que piensa, que es lo más importante, ¿no? Yo lo que quiero saber es qué es lo que está pensando mi rival. Una vez que lo mire unas mil veces más o menos, eh, puedo llegar a, a descifrar a veces eh, las ideas que tiene el plan y la estrategia. Golpe oscuro a la izquierda la, la saca siempre en gancho, ¿no? Hasta ahora no le vi un jab, te digo. Cuando veo video de Chávez, lo único que veo es un boxeador fuerte y, y agresivo. Pero es, es lo único que veo en Chávez, no, no, no veo otra cosa. Ni veo tampoco que, que vaya a enredarle la pelea a Sergio. Lo voy a noquear para tallarle la boca. Ay, qué miedo, padre. Es una mentira, Junior, como campeón del mundo. Es una vergüenza que sea el campeón. Screenings are also a regular part of the routine in Las Vegas. And early on this evening, the featured presentation is Martinez Macklin from this past March. But the crowd gathered in front of the laptop at the Chavez home does not include the nocturnal protagonist, who at 6 p.m. is still asleep upstairs. <laughs> Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. wakes by the end of the fight and is greeted by his father, impassioned by what he's just seen. Perhaps to ponder his father's discourse, perhaps to escape it, he heads next for his nightly plunge. By 10 o'clock, Chavez Jr. is ready to immerse himself in training, but chooses to do so once again 
in the form of a makeshift session at home without Freddie Roach. A veces yo entreno noche, a veces corro en la madrugada, a veces corro en la mañana. Hay alguien que no le guste o hay gente que le gusta, pero a mí me gusta, yo me siento contento. Y yo he demostrado que ha sido bueno, ¿sabes? He is of boxing royalty and an undefeated champion. For now, that grants him the freedom to dispatch with convention. Though the test looming Saturday night will offer the most unforgiving assessment of his habits to date. Soy una persona común y corriente con mis pensamientos, con mis deseos, con mis sueños, que tengo derecho a hacerlos, sea quien sea. Tengo derecho a hacer el mejor peleador del mundo porque eso me propuse y eso quiero hacer. La gente a veces, por ser hijo de César Chávez, no me lo daba. Y para eso tengo que enfrentar a Sergio Martínez. Yo creo que la pelea está en el mejor momento eh, y estoy listo para, para esa pelea. In Oxnard, an anticipated guest lets himself in through the front door. The man's name is Reggie Aguilus, and he's come in from Los Angeles bearing a bag full of goods, as well as the infrastructure to support his scheduled appointment. It is time for Sergio Martinez and Pablo Sarmiento to ensure they'll look the part for fight week. I designed all of his wardrobe for grand arrivals and his press conferences. I've seen him dress in the past and him and coach love, love to wear fedora hats and stuff like that. So I said, how can I make their outfits surround around that look? This is more of like a 70s style. Pencil suits, um, sunglasses, fedoras. It's the Vegas feel and the casino look. So let's try to do something with a bang, you know? Sacame una foto, por favor. Se mira bien. Sí, se mira bien. Viste por la verdad. No, me queda bien, me queda bien. No es que se ve bien, no, me queda bien. Even if he's a boxer who trains with sharp focus, he's also a performer who calls himself Maravilla and style has long been vital to the package. Me gusta vestir así, siempre presentable, ¿sabes? Estoy de cara al público siempre. Entonces es importante que físicamente me vea bien, me encuentre bien, que la ropa esté bonita, que cuando vaya a hablar, pues por lo menos que se pueda entender lo que diga. Es, es, por eso te digo, es un conjunto de detalles que hay que tratar de tener todo. Antes toda la ropa que me gustaba a mí no podía comprarme la es así, pero vamos, que no me preocupaba, sabía que esto iba a llegar, ¿sabes? The next morning, the attire is less original, as Martinez sets out on another pre-dawn run. The fight is another day closer, and the solitude of the early hours takes his thoughts to both his early days and his hopes for the future. No suelo pensar en todo lo que en todo lo que pasé, en todo lo que viví, en lo que dejé atrás. Suelo siempre mirar hacia adelante. Sí, a mí me sirvió eso, mirar mis objetivos y no desviar nunca la mirada de eso, ¿sabes? No me olvido de dónde vengo, porque el día que me olvide de dónde venga me va a tocar regresar. Entonces, yo miro mis objetivos y trabajo de la mejor manera, como, como tengo que hacerlo, ¿sabes? Chávez, hasta ahora. Si está por acostar. <risa> ojalá que no esté dormido. Ojalá que esté entrenando por él. No sé ni qué hora es, pero tendría que estar ya levantado, tendría que estar terminando de entrenar. Como este, como este viejito. Fighting is about knowing yourself. Knowing what your body is capable of knowing what it can tolerate. It is, of course, the most intimate of educations. Considering what it feels like, what it risks, and most of all, what it calls upon. That may be what prompts fighters to sometimes act in ways only they understand. And by contrast, 
is perhaps the best explanation for others' religious degrees of devotion. For every student learns differently, and every fighter finds his own way to resolve what brought him to this violent epicenter of skill and desire. Vas a perder. ¿A dónde vas a correr? Te voy a alcanzar. No puedes correr. A ti, Chávez Junior. Prepárate bien, te digo, ¿vale? El precio que vas a pagar conmigo va a ser el más caro de toda tu vida. No, te vas a arrepentir. No tenías que haber tomado esta pelea, Junior. No naciste para ser grande. Vas a ver con tus ojos que te gane. Te voy a ganar. Ya, ya, ya. Fantástico, ya, fantástico. Prepárate bien, te digo, ¿vale? Te van a sonar todos los huesos. A las muelas te van a sonar. Just how great are Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. and Sergio Martinez? Just how well do they know themselves? The answers come next Saturday night. HBO's Chavez Martinez coverage continues Friday, September 14th, with their weigh-in live from Las Vegas. Later that night, it's 24-7 overtime. Host Jim Lampley and special guests. The next night, watch the live fight. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. versus Sergio Martinez on HBO Pay-Per-View. This has been a presentation of HBO Sports. Friday. The story continues as both fighters draw closer to the opening bell. Don't miss the weigh-in live Chavez Jr. Martinez, as well as an installment of 24-7 Overtime. Friday. It all starts at 6.30 with a weigh-in live Chavez Jr. Martinez, plus an encore replay at 7.30, followed by 24-7 Overtime at 8.00.